Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. God bless you all. I pray that you all are just doing well today. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining this channel. I pray that these videos will bless you and, and all that you hear. I encourage you to take it up to the Father and ask, you know, for your own confirmations. You know, people may watch this and may not believe what they hear and may have their own judgments. But you know what? The Lord knows. So I'm not worried about your comments those that want to slander me and those that call me a false prophet. I never even considered myself a prophet. I am a servant of the Lord. Whatever he wants to use me for, whatever he wants this vessel to be used for, I am willing. And so with that said, thank you for joining this channel. But um, I have a dream. I want to share with you and it was from I don't know like I've been feeling so tired is anybody else feeling this way like I don't know if it's because of everything that is going on right now that I'm just feeling really like oppressed but I am just like super duper tired <laughs> I'm like Lord give me energy father God you know it it's not I don't know so anyway but I'm still filled with the Spirit. You know, I still have the Lord. I still have Jesus living in me. And by His strength, I can get through each and every single day, every second, every moment of the day. So, let me get with this dream. In this dream, I was in my stepdaughter's room. And I opened up the door to our living room. It was like, it was, it's so, it was so weird. Like it was as if I was in spirit. Like I was literally there and I was in her room. I was in her bedroom and I opened up the door to the living room. And when I opened it up, there was a cobra rattlesnake. And I'll, I, don't, I don't know if those things really exist. Now they, they probably do. But it was a cobra rattlesnake. And it stuck its little tongue out at me. And it was going about to strike. I said, oh, heck no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't even play. I'm like, I shut the door. Like, I, like, pushed the door, you know. Like, I gave it an oomph and... It just closed, but it didn't close all the way. And I was like, okay, Angela, just back away slowly and run. <laughs> so I did. And I ran so fast out the door, out to the outside, that I didn't even look back. I knew this thing was chasing me, you guys. I knew this thing was chasing me, but I did not look back. But I heard its little rattle. <laughs> And I got, I made it outside and I slammed the door and I woke up. So when I woke up, I woke, praise the Lord, I woke up in my bed and I was like, what kind of dream is this? This is crazy. I hate snakes. I cannot stand them. That's why, you know, I hate the devil, that serpent, that deceiving little creature that I'm going to smash its head. So anyway... I woke up and I was like, what was that? Oh my gosh. Like, Lord, I rebuke this dream. This is crazy. Ew. Like a horrible, horrible mix of a snake. And, but I, I, I got what that dream meant. You know, the Lord showed me that even though the door wasn't closed all the way, that the enemy is still after me, but I made it out. He did not get me. I made it out of the house and the door is shut. And so, praise the Lord. But when I, when I, after I woke up, I fell back asleep. And when I fell back asleep, I, I was laying down in, in like a position like this, but I had my hands out, which I don't know why. But, and I had a dream. And in my dream, I was laying in that same position that I was in with my hands out and there was a spider in my hand. There was this huge spider in my hand 
and it was biting me. It was literally trying to bite me, but it was like I was protected. I was protected by the Holy Spirit, by the blood of Jesus that covers me. It was trying to bite me, and it was like as if it bit me, but because of the fire and the power of the Holy Spirit, it flipped over dead. And you guys, listen to this. When it flipped over dead, I flattened it. Like, I squeezed it. I literally, like, like as if it was inflated, and I was deflating it, you know? I was just squeezed it, and in my dream... I just smushed this spider within my fingers, but there was no guts coming out. And when I woke up, I woke up with my hands in this position, squeezing. I was like, what? And so the Lord is showing me, like, the devil is after me. He really is. And right now, you know, like, in that same night, uh, when I shut the door, that snake was in my daughter's room. Well, she ended up having a really bad nightmare that night. And it just shocked me that, like, I when I woke up, I, it just happened to be that that snake from my dream was in her room. And it probably gave her that nightmare. Most likely, sure. Because nightmares are from the enemy. They're not from God. And... So I'm like, wow. But uh, my kitty, my Grace, I don't know what happened to her, but her hip or her like back leg, something was wrong with her. She's not able to walk. She just cries and it's so sad because I don't know what's wrong. But uh, just lift her up with your prayers, you guys, please. You know, the Lord gave me her to give me comfort and poor little kitty, you know, she, she wants to, but she can't and she, she's my everything to me right now because, you know, she just gives me that extra love that, um, I, I'm not getting. <laughs> and so, you know, I can, I'm sure the devil is after me, so he's going to attack that one thing that comforts me, but you know what? My God provides and he heals. So it's all good. And um, so I was in prayer a few minutes ago. And I was like, Lord, speak to my heart. You know, speak, you know how I'm feeling. And I just, just went into talking with them. And I opened up my Jesus calling. And I opened up my Jesus calling twice I prayed and I opened this up and it lands on December and it says for us wait for to us a child is born and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father prince of peace Isaiah 9 6 but then I open up my 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 God's promises book too and it's just, these pages are blank, you guys. And all of it says is the promises of assurance. I'm like, Lord, why are you giving me a blank page? And just like with my Jesus calling, it's blank. And all it says is December. And it says Isaiah 9. So I'm like, okay, clearly you're wanting me to read Isaiah 9. So, you know me. I read Isaiah 9 and Isaiah 10 and Isaiah 11. I read 9 through 11. And uh, it's talking about the remnant and how the Lord will take home the remnant. And he, how he will bring back the remnant. And how he said he will make a highway for the remnant of his people who will be left from Assyria as it was for Israel in the day that he came up from the land of Egypt. So th there's going to be a remnant and he's talking about, I mean, it's just, it truly blessed me and it was just about his promise. And so it was pretty amazing. And, um, Talking about destruction. 
Woe to those who decree unrighteous decrees, who write misfortune which they have prescribed to rob the needy of justice and to take what is right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. What will you do in the day of punishment and in the desolation which will come from afar? To whom will you flee for help and where will you leave your glory? Without me, they shall bow down among the prisoners, and they shall fall among the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. I mean, those are just a couple of the scriptures, you guys. And so, I'm not going to go in to read all of them. But, um, he's definitely, definitely speaking something here. And... Like, and I did, and I prayed, um, over it once and he led me here and I'm like, really God, this is just one, one little scripture, you know, there has to be something else. And I prayed over it again and again, he led me here. So clearly he is speaking something important. And so I encourage you in all things you hear, take it up to the Lord for your own confirmations about it. And you guys just, um, Stay protected or, you know, plead the blood of Jesus and anoint yourselves with oil. There's something in here that says that too. I was like, okay, that's even confirmation to keep. Mm, where, do, where is it? I don't even know. Lord, help me. It was talking about anointing yourself with oil, the anointed oil. I'm not even sure, but I know it's in here. Well, you read it and then you find it. <laughs> so, um, all right, you guys, God bless you all. I love you so much. And I will talk to you later. Um, I'm feeling that as I was reading this, it was like, I'm going to fast from Facebook and from YouTube and from pretty much from my phone and the internet um, and to just really focus on the Lord. It's like that time I'm feeling led to do that again. So I don't know how many days, maybe a week. So um, unless I really feel led to make a video, I will make a video. But until then, I love you guys so much and I pray that I hope to see you all very soon. Bye.